Hello friends, let's create this beautiful slideshow and let's go and get right into it. Make sure that you have a nice even background. I chose a mammal kind of background. I will zoom in to 1.3 and then I'm going to make a cut then stretch this a little bit. Now I'm going to effects and here I choose a video transition. I'm going for the push, stretching that a little bit. And now I'm going here with my playhead between the, the clips and in the middle of the push transition, I go to the inspector, click here. If your inspector isn't open, just here in the upper right corner, click on the inspector. I want to go and play a little bit with the border, but first I'm going to mark the feathering. And I also want to zoom in a bit. You see, we have here that separation where you definitely see that there is something going on. And we want to avoid that as far as possible. I want to mask it at least a little bit. Let's see. So in this case, that's okay with 35. Then I want to add some motion blur and I want to go to 1.3 was a good one. And of course for the ease we choose in and out. And let's have a brief look. It looks good to me for now. I also want to see if there's anything different if we are going up or down. So if we don't have to push left or right, but up or down. And you can already see if we go here in the middle of our transition, that here's, it's very evident. So in this case, I go click on the second part of the background. And here I will go to the video tab in the inspector and then, so I, if I flip this vertically or horizontally or both, if I choose the vertical, I'm good. Yeah, that's pretty much okay. You will always see that if you have something like that, that it's a little bit tricky. We go to close the inspector for now and then we put our first image on it. Or what I actually want to do is I put all the images on it. I don't really have a reason not to do so. I'll drag the background. I'm going for four girls here. So before I resize these photos, I'm going to effects and click on open effects. Here I'm searching for the drop shadow. And I drop a drop shadow on every single one of these photos. So I don't have to do that back and forth and waste time with that. So what I'm going to do is here. The first photo I'm going to zoom it out and then I give it a little rotation angle here in the drop shadow. I make the drop shadow a little bit harsher. I like the angle as it is actually put it a little bit further away and then the next one zoom it out give it a little bit of an angle in a different direction and go to that drop shadow. Also make it a little bit harsher. Put the angle here and a little bit further away. I give this one a smaller size and put it to the left a little more. Adjust the drop shadow a bit. Last one.
Let's I'm going on the first image, right click on it, open it in the fusion page and in the fusion page, I'm going to click on effects to open the effect library. Here I'm going to templates, edit, effects, click on colored border and I have that white border. I close the effects library. I have that right border. You can change everything what you want. I keep it as it is. Make sure you have the clips on. Saves you time. Then I click on the second image. Control and click on the third and the fourth image. And then I hover over the first image where I already added the border. And then I click on the mouse wheel of my mouse and say, OK, overwrite. And then you see that we have this white border on every photo on our timeline. So we can leave full fusion. Have a look. Every thing has now a white border. I click on our push transition here, hold Alt and drag the transition to the photograph. And what we see now is that it goes up. And that's okay. Next thing is we're going to our next transition point and we all drag the transition from our first transition point to this one. Here we want to go and push right and I all drag this one also up. And now I'm going to go further. I alt click this transition, drag it to the next transition point here. I want to go the transition down and then I click on it again, alt click and drag on the photo. What leaves us with the following upwards, down, right and down. What we can do to make this a little bit more three-dimensional or give it a little bit of a fake parallax effect is if we shorten the transition on the photos. It gives a little bit of a parallax effect as you will see. So now play it and you see that there is the, there comes this, that movement and then to a halt, it gives a little bit more dynamic to the whole thing. So what we want to do now, you remember that I left on this one a little bit space. I want to put some text here and also have that text moving. So I'm going to effects, go to titles and then I throw a text plus effect on it. I won't do any fancy stuff to the text itself. Only thing what I want to do is give it a color. I just give it a black color. Thanks for watching. And then I'm going to line it out. And uh, the thing here is I want to have it move in the same way as the rest moves. I want to drag the push transitions upwards. The push transition, of course, needs something to push on. You can't transit into nothing. So what you have to do is we go first and alt click the text to the right and we alt click the text to the left to make copies. And then we hit D to deactivate them. And now we have something to push on. So we can now click on our transition. Hold Alt, drag it, do the same here, make a copy. And now you will see that the text moves with it. And now let's have a look how this looks in full screen. Looks good. I thank you for watching. I hope you have a very great day ahead. Have fun with this. Of course, 
You don't need to use photographs. You can, can also use video clips for this. You can do everything what's in your imagination. There are no boundaries. Have fun with the rest of the playlist. Consider subscribing and goodbye.